the yield curve chart is kind of defined by the 10 year and the two year spread, all right? Now, don't get put off by, by the fact that when I start using this kind of technical jargons, you, you got, got scared and you say, teacher, oh my gosh, I can't handle this. I don't want to hear this kind of stuff. This is for losers. Winners say, I learn, I hear something new. I'm going to master it. All right. You're going to say it out loud, I'm going to master it. So here we go. This is defined as the U curve. Taking the 10 year spread minus the two year spread or the two year spread minus the 10 year spread depend on. <laughs> are you reading this 10Y2, 10Y2Y? Y, S is spread. Or at the title is two year hyphen, uh, two year forward slash 10 year. All right. It doesn't matter. What matters is the negative number, all right? So I'm going to highlight to you the first time the spread hits a negative number is found right here. Ding, 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 where it goes negative, like 0 point, minus 0 0.01. That is a negative, all right? So that is represented by my red dot right there. And are you ready? Here we go, mama. We kind of going through the repeat of the DJI. First, let me show you where is it first. From the negative view curve, it kind of hit now. Ding, 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 ding. And then dong, 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 dong. And then goes back up there. Means view curve right now is a positive number. Ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at a positive view curve number right now. This is the second dot of the triangulation. So take a step back. Breathe. 